Good morning, friends. It's time for Morning Madness. We've been, uh, we've been watching this TV show called Riverdale. Very good TV show. I'll put it right here. You should watch it. Absolutely watch it. And it's scary. It's actually a scary show. And it's making me think and have dreams about scary things. And, and yeah, it's, it's keeping me up at night. And I'm having, you know, I'm thinking a lot about fear and about being scared about things. And uh, my book didn't have anything about fear, but I found one on my phone. And it says, if you want to conquer fear, don't sit home and think about it. Fear will consume you if you just sit there and think about it. If you're scared of something, and you fear it, and then you let it conquer that you let it conquer you, and you'll just you'll never do anything about it. So fear is only conquered when you go do something about it. I'm still scared to do stand up. I'm still scared to get on stage. I get nervous, all that stuff. But I go do it, and that's how I'm gonna get good at it. And I mean, sharks are a different story. I'll always be afraid of sharks. But more rational things like being afraid to you know, go out and try something new, or get out there and push yourself, anything like that. Don't let it conquer you. Get out there and actually try to conquer it. Because when you do, not only will you feel amazing, but you could possibly stumble on something amazing that changes your life forever. So, be scared, because you're gonna be scared, but still do it. Don't let it stop you. So. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs> so one of the best parts about traveling so much is that you get to go to different places and try different foods. Places that we don't have at home, places, little mom and pop shops. So, awesome. we're about to try. We, we got, I like this place, it's called Mill Valley. Basically, they built everything around trees. Everything is just all trees. And it's crazy. And so, what we did, so what we did was, looked up the best place to eat in Mill Valley. And then we found this place called Phyllis Burgers. So we're gonna go check it out. Let's see how it is. Apparently it's Christmas. I don't know. What's up, little pup? You good? We can't be your parents. Phyllis Giant Burgers. Let's see how giant these burgers really are. We left. We didn't eat there because it was like $14 for one burger. That's too much. That's simply too much for one burger. So now we're walking the streets of Mill Valley trying to find something that looks yummy. decided against Mill Valley. Mill Valley is a really cool place, but very expensive. And you know, we're out here living the broke life. So we're gonna head over to Sausalito, which will hopefully be oh, a little bit more manageable. And if not, we'll just starve. This is that it's crazy. It's packed. See if we can, oh, there we go. Lappers. Lapperts. It's nuts. Okay. 
back of plane. So I'm Googling this right now because I'm almost positive, like 90% positive, that the Golden Gate Bridge, the color, is continental orange. I'm pretty sure. Let's ask Siri. Yes. What is the color of the Golden Gate Bridge? The answer I found is international orange. I was wrong. The color is international orange. But it is orange. Which is interesting because it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. So. But uh, here it is. We're gonna we're gonna hit it. It's gonna be cool. What are we doing? We're sitting in traffic. This is the heart of San Francisco where the traffic lives. We've been playing this fun game where we use the signs around town to incorporate into our everyday <laughs> conversation. Like, Did you know that's Phillips Building? Phillips Building? Oh my god! He has a whole building to himself. Wow. Did you know, um... Did you know the, this is the first street gate? Yeah, I, I did know that. But did you know that? Boom! See, you have to drive effectively. If you don't drive efficiently or effectively, you'll never get anywhere. You have to be assertive. You have to be complacent. You know the camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know the camera? Oh, I thought I did. I didn't think I was in it. <laughs> I'm red. Maybe it's from this red light. Um, we had a really cool day. We went and hung out with my aunt Tracy. It was a little personal and I don't want to throw a camera in her face right away so we didn't film most of it but we're coming back on Monday and we're gonna film on Monday kind of the things we did today. It was really cool and then we just walked into uh, Starbucks and it's cool they have this little community of people that just play chess um, and they're really nice and uh, that was one of the guys right there just walked by. Sam he was nice. Um, they were really nice and they asked if I wanted to play, but it was nuts. I'll show a little bit right now. It was, uh... Way out of my pay grade of, of being able to play chess. So, um, yeah, it was a really fun day. It was really cool. We uh, went to the park. We went to a bunch of places. We're going to show you all of what we did basically on Monday because so we're going to come back and maybe do it all again and uh, yeah I'm uh, you know I just want to congratulate you because uh, you did it you did it <laughs> congratulations you did it today was fun overall it was a good day saw my aunt did some sightseeing it was really cool what does kind of suck is even when I'm on vacation, traveling, touring, whatever you want to say, still gotta work, you know? There's still work that has to be done. I am making the flyer for my show down in San Diego when I get home, and I'm doing all of the different promotions for it. Bunch of stuff I gotta do, so. I'll be here for a while. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. But another good day on Raymond Montoya Vlogs. I love you. I'll see you.